Nikuambia vipi uenza kuhawa Nadia ah, Sahani ya mchele Wingine wafanja tumo ya kumbele Giza ya mwizi Lakini mchana tuwa woko pasi
But you came home with that woman I said go, just go Go when even after all these years after you cheated I still don't know what to do without your love No, when it's a shame cause I'm the only one to blame And I know, I know, I know that it's so sitting back there I watched a lot of music shows and I felt like I was watching the voice and I was like about to turn my chair around for this girl like <laughs> you sing with like your whole entire heart is in it how'd you learn how to do that how'd I learn how to sing no to sing like with such fullness right damn well well I guess I think about every single word I'm singing and feel it if, if yeah if, yeah you know you you really just take it word for word mm -hmm. yeah yeah i get i get that sense from you like you're, you mean everything that you're saying and that's a that's a beautiful thing we don't get to hear that very often these days thank you uh introduce us to your uh, guitarist for the day <laughs> this is robin robin with the exotic name robin marcel mustache oh yeah okay and how long have the two of you been making music together well, that's a that's a that's a different. It's a difficult one. Okay. Because 
I'd say he discovered me. Okay. He discovered me a while back and um he didn't really give up on me since. He was he was already an established guitarist mm-hmm. and an established music, musician and I was just trying to find my bearing yeah. sort of. And he helped me out. So at what point in your life did you just find your bearing, shall we say, and and realize that this is a talent that you have and it's something that you would pursue on this level? I'd say I'd say it's it's it's, it's just a journey. You know the days where 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 you're like where I have these phases of ah I don't want to do this. Mm-hmm. And then there are, there are those days where I'm like this is everything that I want to do. It's all I want to do. So I feel like I'm still on that discovery ju- mm-hmm. journey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't have that oh it was on the 1st of September. <laughs> yeah. 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 Was there any at any point that there was anything else that you wanted to do or you know like education wise what did you study like what's that journey been like for you uh, outside of music? I'm currently studying architecture. Wow. Yes, at the University of Nairobi. So that's a little tough, you know, trying to yeah. balance that. But hey, I mean, if if How do the parents feel about this? I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> Cuz there's architecture and there's music. And so how do they feel about both of your interests? They've been really supportive. Yeah. Really, really supportive. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm staying in school, so it's not a Yeah, it's bad not thing. like you're giving up on school. Yeah. So how did your like how did you start singing? Is it a family thing? Is it who are your influences growing up that got you into music? Well, in high school, when I was in high school, I studied music okay. as a subject. Mm-hmm. And before then I really wanted to be an artist, like a fine artist, a painter, you know, like those exotic girls. Mm-hmm. I, I wanted to be those people, but um when I learned music, I fell in love with it. And when I say fall in love, it, f- it, it sounds like one of those cliche, yeah. oh yeah, you fell in love with it, okay, yeah, no yeah. you didn't. But I used to think about it day and night, mm-hmm. the way you think about a guy, you know. And from then on, I, I felt like I wanted to teach. But then in late 2015, I, I auditioned for Saudi Academy just for fun mm-hmm. and it, it's just spiraled the journey has just turned into something else yeah yeah man Saudi academy produces brilliant talent like i've i've, I've heard a lot and all <laughs> of it has been excellent so they must be doing a great job yeah, they are. over there they talk are. me about that last song you just sang because man that was emotional <laughs> i was like i was like how she know my life <laughs> like, what? What? i mean <laughs> i i could relate so hard to those lyrics oh really yeah what was it like writing was it based obviously uh, you know on real life or how that was actually the first song I wrote. Really? Yeah. The journey for that song was that we had a songwriting class and I felt like I was hitting a brick wall. Mm-hmm. So I sort of shut off everything I was learning and said, you know what, I'm going to just take a chance and just write whatever, you mm-hmm. know, no formula, no nothing. And to date, it's one of the songs that I really enjoy the most. It was the first successful song yeah. that I wrote. and. Mm-hmm. And I, I, it's it's my favorite. It's an excellent song. Yeah, I didn't write it out of experience. Okay, really? I didn't. Are you sure? <laughs> it sounded like it. <laughs> it sounded like it. I, I, I tried to imagine the scenario. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're very good at that. Um, <laughs> as a young person doing this genre of music that you're doing, and mm-hmm. a lot of young people who are artists in Kenya aren't doing what you're doing, mm-hmm. how do you feel about how do you feel about that? Do you feel any pressure to sometimes do music that's going to be a little bit more hype or more you know that people are going to be like oh yeah you know and and kind of tone down the lyricism or anything like that do you ever get that pressure i mean of course i do Mm -hmm. but i i i I believe and i still think that if i'm to move in that direction i want it to be because i feel compelled to right not because of the pressure because once yeah, yeah once the pressure gets to you then it stops being about the passion and what you love and what mm-hmm. and then what what drives you then yeah you know yeah yeah and what where do you hope for this to take you where, where do you want to go with this music thing grammys <laughs> baby grammys grammys okay. yeah i see it okay i started at the voice but we can, we can end at the grammys <laughs> we can end at the grammys <laughs> for sure uh where else is your music available how can people get in touch with you on youtube you can find me on youtube and on soundcloud and also on my social media, I'm just Emma Cheruto, very simple. Mm-hmm. 
across all social media and all those uh, platforms. Okay, I'm probably yeah. going to play back that last song when I get home. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> I'm a fan now. Oh, thank uh, I'm going to get out of here so you can perform uh, one more uh, okay, song cool. for us. And my cherries are here on 10 over 10. Enjoy. Because I'm going with you You know I'm going with you Please come slow I don't know what you do You got me running around Playing me for a fool You got me going around I don't know what to do with this with you And I'm going with you Nice clothes, nice car And when you tell me where you came from I'm going with you That all I want is your fancy things But to be honest, I can't get them out of my mind And don't you know this time I've been wasting No, baby, you're so exhilarating And I can't get you out of my mind Masha, let's go You're here, I'm pleased And I really dig your company yeah. Your style, your smile, your peace mentality Lord, have mercy on me, I was blind Now I can see yeah, what a king's supposed to be oh, Baby, I feel free, come on and roll with me Let's take a long walk around the park after dark, yeah Find a spot for us to spark Conversation, verbal relations Stimulation, share our situation Temptation, meditation Relaxation, maybe, baby Maybe we can save the nation Come on, one Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thank you so much. The beautiful music there from Emma Jeruta. Make sure you follow her at Emma Jeruta. It's E W M A Jeruta Pale. Cheruto, Cheruto, Cheruto Pole. Cheruto Pole. And make sure you uh, show us some love as well. Now the show is going on up. I 